Here we have the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Now this one is a crew cab, comes in the TRD Sport trim level. This does also have the premium package as well. Love this color, this is the oxide bronze metallic. And then we have black soft tex interior. For the powertrain, we get a standard 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. And that's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. So, so far loving the design here. As we come around to the front end, we do get our LED headlamps along with our LED fog lights. And I do like when I first saw the new Tacomas, I was thinking they look totally different than the outgoing ones, but there are a lot of similarities here where you can almost not tell if you see one out on the street, if it's a new one or not, unless you just look at the subtle differences. But down here, love these wheels, 18 inch alloy. Running boards are here. We do get passive keyless entry on the front. One touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors, power door locks. Power mirror controls are there. We do have blind spot monitors in the side mirrors. And I like how they did the door panels, even though it's a smaller truck, made really good use of storage. We get a JBL sound system. Aux switches are here, tons of other features. Hood release, love the pedals. And then we do have a manual tilt, telescoping steering wheel there. And here's our power driver seat. We do get four-way power lumbar support as well. Like the design quite a bit, seems snug. And I like that it's firm yet comfortable feeling in my hands. But I wanna give a big thank you to John Roberts Toyota for allowing me to review this Tacoma today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And if you're looking to get the best price on a Tacoma in your area, make sure you click on that link down below. Fill out your information, takes a minute or two, and we'll get the dealers fighting to get you the best pricing on a new Tacoma. Now, one thing has not changed. We still, in pretty much every mid-sized truck, do not have a lot of space for the rear passengers, but it's about what you'd expect from a Colorado or Ranger and all that. Seat back pockets behind the passenger seat. I do love this. We get a 120 volt three prong household plug-in, two USB-C charge ports, bottle holders are there. And this is the gas cap, but one thing I love is when you open the doors, lights are on the side as well, on the outer side, and you also get them on the inside too. So if you're ever working late or whatever, you have tons of lighting. Now, before I get to the back, love that exhaust. Now that is an option, but worth the money to me, very tasteful. And there's the back end there, which is beautiful by the way. This one does have the option of the side step there and you just pull that down and then pop it back up. And I think it's funny how this looks. And I said this in the Land Cruiser video I just did, but the back ends of these look very similar. Now we do get the power tailgate, which is nice. It's a 120 volt in there, storage there. And then we can also power that tailgate up as well. So up and down functionality, which is just incredible, I think, for this segment. And there's the spare tire. The underneath the Tacoma even looks like the Land Cruiser I just reviewed, which is just funny. Now I'm just gonna take a quick look over here on the rear passenger side so you can see the anchors right in there. And then there's no access to the back of the seat that I'm aware of, but that's how you get that down. And your top tethers are there, so. Very interesting setup, but that's how you get to the top or to the back of the seats, excuse me, and this is how you get to the bottom of the seat. So apologize for that mix up. And then to the window sticker here, this one stickers right at 56,152. And there are your fuel economy numbers there, which I think is very good for the segment again. 
And then front passenger seats power with four-way power lumbar support. Storage pocket here, USB-C, excuse me, USB-C charge for it right there. That's a tongue twister. And then lockable glove compartment there. All of your owner's manuals and such right in there. Now, as we come back around to the front, I want to uh, address the hood. I don't know if that's actually doing anything, but love the design of this hood scoop here. And there's that 2.4 turbocharged four cylinder engine. I'd hate to have to work on one of these. There's a lot going on, but yeah, I don't know. I think that hood scoop's just for decoration because I don't see how any air could get through to that, but it does look very nice. Now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Take a quick run through all the features here. So leather wrap steering wheels here. Here's what the horn sounds like. Now I do like this. This is the bigger screen for the Tacomas. Very big and very, it's just nice looking in my opinion. Now in here you can go through your settings. If you wanna go change your language or units of measurement, you can do it from here. It's either set based on your region or you can manually fool with it like that. And then you do get Bluetooth, AM, FM, XM radio, a navigation subscription, and then I believe you get wireless Apple CarPlay and then Android Auto compatibility. Now there's the backup camera. You get guidelines that follow you as you turn the steering wheel. Nice big picture. The camera's very clear as well. I like that bird's eye view too. And then you can adjust front camera there, curbside view. And then my favorite is gonna be the the bed camera so you can see if you have something tied up or whatever, if it's about to blow out or something like that. And then several other features too. Now down here we do get dual zone automatic climate controls. So I can adjust where the air is coming from, temperature on either side, sink and unsink there. Hazards are over there, but three stage heated cool front seats is very nice to see in a Toyota Tacoma and then the heated steering wheel toggle, nice big button right there. And while we're over here, you can see trailer brake controller is right down there. And volume, click that to mute. I'm gonna move the shifter out of the way, but I'll show you how it shifts first. Hit this button, pull down, reverse neutral drive, and then you can come over here and manually shift there if you so choose. But 12 volts right in there, you get two USB-C ports here and i like that you have a little area here to put your phone and then have it on the charger or the wireless charging pad is right in there electronic parking brake pull up to engage to the brake press down and disengage automatic brake hold is here and then you can decide whether you want this to be drive modes or tow haul so your drive modes are here and then you can change from sport to normal to eco love the animation you get there and then in tow haul, you can change that from, well, you basically just have the tow haul option. I was expecting the tow plus, but you only get tow haul there. And then this is interesting for the four wheel drive. All you do is kind of unlock it there and you can turn it. So that's pretty neat. And then you have the trailer backup guide if you want to use that. And then that's a quick button for the front camera there. Bottle holders are here, center console cubby space. This one does have the safe, so you can set that up. And then up here, sunglasses holder. We do get that power rear window that slides. And then the sunroof, pull back the shade, and you can one touch open or close it, and then you also can push it up or down to tilt. And then garage door transmitters integrated here. A rear camera mirror is right there. So you just flip that back and forth to get it going. And then you can go through your settings and adjust all of that if you want to do that. The drop down mirrors here for the vanity. 
and then back to the steering wheel, blinkers, low beams, corners, auto, daytime running lights off, fog lamps, and then when the lights are on, high beams flash there, and then you can also toggle those auto high beams on or off if you want to do that. And then over here, we do have our intermittent wipers, one time off, intermittent low high. We can adjust that intermittent frequency here, pull up there for the front wiper fluid. And then volume controls are here, voice recognition, back button, Bluetooth button. And then this is all to go through the gauge cluster if you wanna do that. So I'll just take a quick run through of it and go through all of your settings if you wanna do that. And there's a lot that you can configure. Just hold OK, and then you can get all that sorted out. And then over here with the Safety Sense 3.0, we do have the Adaptive Cruise, the Lane Tracing Assist, and then we can set all of that, just speed, cancel, and then we can go through the track list, the radio station presets, and the audio sources here by hitting that mode button. Push button starts here. Finally, here is the key fob. 